Hello again and welcome to Agilent's Energy and Chemical Virtual Seminar. Our next presenter is Paul Barboni. Paul is our GC Analyzer Product Manager. Uh, he's based in Wilmington in Delaware in our GC R&D facility. Paul's going to be presenting a range of pre-configured analyzers uh, designed to meet testing needs uh, for quality and safety in the oil and gas processing uh, industry. During Paul's presentation, uh, if you need any more information or if you have any questions you'd like to ask us, the toolbar at the bottom of the auditorium uh, is a great place to ask us those questions or if you have any technical problems uh, and we can fix those for you straight away. So without further ado, I'll hand over to Paul. Hello and welcome to our comprehensive suite of pre-configured gas analyzers from Agilent the innovator in GC. While Agilent has a diversified and well-established background in gas chromatography, we can't really appreciate the value of the analyzer part of the offering without understanding how it fits into the larger GC category. Founded in 1939 by Bill Heward and Dave Packard in this modest garage in California, the company would become Agilent now has over 50 years of experience in gas chromatography, one of our core businesses. We have established ourselves as the global leader in GC in terms of innovation, quality, and pulse sale support. This is the biggest strength of an Agilent GC analyzer. It's the Agilent GC. We have a deep knowledge pool of factory and field personnel who build upon the already strong Agilent GC, which is where the value of a gas analyzer is recognized. It's that applied knowledge combined with a strong foundation and reputation of the base Agilent GC. Here we see a brief timeline of the Agilent history that I refer to. Agilent was born from Hewlett Packard in 1998, and you may be familiar with the high-end LabGC product line history of 5890, 6890, 7890, and now the 8890 GC gas chromatographs. The history of high-end LabGCs are just a part of the overall Agilent GC portfolio. You can find more details on a poster of this GC timeline at our Agilent.com website, and I would encourage you to do so. There are a lot more details of GC innovation there. The point is that we build Agilent GC analyzers on the best possible foundation on the world. That, that's the Agilent GC. From there, we add some special hardware and sometimes software or reports so that someone can receive delivery from our factory and start seeing meaningful results without having to perform additional hardware or reporting modifications. To define what we mean by gas analyzer, as established, we start with the GC from Agilent and then add hardware and features like specific gas flow paths inlets, detectors, columns, and valves to control flow path with details like a back flush or a column isolation. This unique hardware is then optimized at the Agilent factory for method development on specific serialized GCs on that order. That optimization is then shipped with the GC in electronic format and duplicated by the certified Agilent service representative when the system is installed. Many, but not all, of the GC analyzer models fit energy and chemical applications. 
Often these GCs perform the same short method over and over, and it's very purpose built. In this application range, there are components that could be corrosive to hardware or poisonous to columns. So complex plumbing is often incorporated to provide back flush or column isolation. Refinery gases and natural gases are a big part of the energy and chemical applications. The separations aren't that complicated, but keeping the analytes of interest in the columns and detectors they should use and away from other parts of the system that the sample matrix might harm requires complex flow path plumbing and very exact timing of events. Setting up all of this at the factory is a big part of the analyzer value. We can also match GC configurations to published methods such as ASTM, UOP, or GPA methods. In addition to the refinery and natural gas analyzers, Agilent has offerings for the pre-configured analyzers for biofuels per multiple ASTM and EN standards including Headspace applications. There are also GC analyzers that use hardware ancillary to the GC like mass spec or Headspace. Using the 8890 GC, there are options for mass spec analyzers for several pesticide analyses and Headspace sampling is available on the 8890 GC and the Intuvo 9000 GC notably transformer oil gas analyses for the electrical generation and delivery industry, as well as blood alcohol testing and residual solvent pharmaceutical testing. Agilent GC analyzers are tested at the factory with the OpenLAF suite of data systems and also the mass spec software MassHunter. These methods, which are saved to a DVD that ships with the system are then confirmed by the installing engineer with the same checkout standards used at the factory. As an overview of our portfolio, here we see some details about the standard models offered. Many are FID and TCD combinations, often in the parts per million range. There are some options for sulfur matrices, some for nitrogen carrier gas, and many are focused on analytes C6 or lower. This also calls out the opportunity for customization. We have standard model designs, but can accommodate a significant amount of customization. So please work with your Agilent application engineer to go over the options for customization. A great resource in addition to your Agilent application engineer is the Agilent.com website. There are more details on GC analyzers under the solutions subheading, and there's also a lookup tool for published methods. Thank you very much. For more application on any of the GC analyzer information we just covered, please contact your Agilent representative. So thank you to our presenter for that great presentation and thank you for watching. Uh, please, if you have any feedback on the presentation, on the topic, on, on the content, uh, the toolbar at the bottom, there's the option to give us feedback. If you'd like any more information on the solution and product uh, in the presentation, again, if you ask us here, we'll get that information to you. And uh, yeah, if if you have any questions please uh, use the web chat function or or give us that feedback and we'll reply as soon as we possibly can thank you again for watching